game, and then I'll commentate off of that. I guess that works. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the recording now. Oh, oh and I'm awesome in! Awesome timing. I'm in. I'm in. You're in this time? All right. Oh, I'm in. So for people in the future who are watching this video while jetpacking to work, uh, we had a problem the first time, and Dom Frissetti just got booted out of the game. So yeah, this is the first below level 30 student game. It's blind pick because, mo like I said, people are below 30 and we don't expect them to have enough for draft. And um, so yeah, it looks like we got some pretty good picks coming up here. Yeah, uh, so far really good. So I think Shotzi and uh, Revenant are probably going to decide who's jungling. Is that a um, middle right sticks now. that I see? I it could be, and you know what? Like people, people talk a lot of crap on Fiddle in the Middle, but it's super annoying, especially as an AP caster because he has a point and click silence. Yeah, and he basically, if you don't burst him down or gank him, then he doesn't die because he just gets back up. But if you do, yeah, just... if you do gank him and he doesn't have flash up, he's pretty much dead. <laughs> There's Hold on. not really anything you can do about it. <laughs> My roommate just did my laundry for me. Good guy. Good guy roommate does my laundry. Um, so the team on the left, blue team, looks really freaking strong right now. Yeah. But uh, hmm. They look. They're really. They're really tanky is the thing too. So. Yeah. Interesting. So I guess that is a middle sticks, but so is the team on the right. The team on the right is also very tanky. And. I don't know. The team on the... I mean, they have Scion Stun and Alistar, which, you know, is super good CC. Same with Singed Fling, but Shivana doesn't bring a lot to the table in terms of CC. tristana has got her knockback, but that's usually more like super offensive, like putting someone into a wall, or super defensive, like kiting someone away, like last-ditch effort. But um, Soraka Graves, I have a feeling, is just going it, to... It'll be interesting bottom lane. Like, it'll be all up to player skill. For sure. I think. And also we've got uh we've got fiddlesticks bouncing silence and Soraka single target silence. So if Tristana gets caught out of position, she's not jumping away. <laughs> yeah, no, not not a chance to jump away. Got a um, um Skarner jungle, that's his name. That's always a good yeah, pick. Yeah, that's yeah, it's, well pretty much here's how it's gonna work is that if Skarner can land uh so if he can land his ult on Tristana and pull her out of the team fight into Fiddle Six Fear, Riven Stun, Soraka Silence, like dead. They they can catch one person and absolutely destroy them. I just recommend he doesn't you know pull Shivana or Singed because that'd be bad. <laughs> yeah, Fiddlesticks uh, synergize. If Fiddlesticks and like the and the Soraka and not not the champions but the players actually synergize their play really well, they can yeah. use him to tank a lot more than he looks like he'd be able to, just because he'll be draining yeah. and healing that way. With the health buff. With the yeah, health and the armor, armor buff. buff. Yeah. So um, it's, it's kind of, they don't really on. look like a super tanky team, but if they play right, they can become tanky. Yeah, like if Skarner gets, you know, a frozen heart, like he's going to pretty much be like immune to, or a Randuin's Omen would probably be a good pick. Just like, he can totally take Tristan out of a fight. For yeah, the most for sure. part. Because that active is just you get to the carry, you pop that ultimate, you pop that active, and it's just like they, they're severely damaged. Mm -hmm. Like their damage output is severely nerfed for the time being while that active's on. Fiddle's gonna find his game though a little frustrating, because when he uses his ult, he can be blasted back by Tristana, he can be knocked back by um, Alistair, he can be thrown away or towards if he's not doesn't know what he's doing by Singe, and he can just be stunned by Scion. Yeah, um, he's going to have a hard time in lane, I think, because, um, like, Scion just pushes super hard, mm -hmm. and Fiddlesticks can't push at all. <laughs> like, he has trouble enough last hitting, because that attack animation is just, like, terrible. I think the consensus is that, besides Poppy, he's the worst farmer in the game. Maybe even worse than Poppy. I'd say worse. Yeah. So what are, uh, I don't know, what are our viewers' thoughts on that? How do you th how do you feel about Fiddlesticks in lane? Have you played him before? I used to play him a little bit jungle, but uh, I never played Fiddlesticks in lane at all. So I remember playing him in lane back in the good old days when I was like level twelve. 
Oh yeah. Like didn't didn't know how to jungle. <laughs> that was back when I only played Karthus. That was my my <laughs> first ever bot hero for some reason was Karthus. I think it's because he would like look really cool, and I was like, oh. Push sure. R. And you're like, yeah, I can push R. <laughs> yeah, and I um, I got into the game with my my friend who was uh who I still play with like now. And at the time, like, he was significantly better than me. He'd been playing for about a year when I was just starting. So yeah. he would play just, like, Kennen on in lower-level games than he's used to because, like, my level 5 account was yeah. bringing people down. Even when he played on his level 30, he would just, like... Oh, man, old, older Kennen was, like, crazy ridiculous, especially when my friend played him. Back just before, gets, like, the unrelenting Woda nurse... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they nerfed it again. I was just like, geez, that thing is... And they nerfed um, Revolver. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about, because I don't in turn nerf the uh, Woda, but geez, like, it's still... Double Woda's still ridiculously strong. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, even though they... I think they nerfed it because of Double Woda. They didn't yeah, that's, what, that's why they nerfed Woda. it. Yeah, it wasn't because of Single. It's just one of those stacks. It's just, like, ridiculous amounts of spell vamp. Yeah, I haven't really... Um, I also haven't seen too many Vlads at all played or heard anything about it since they nerfed him again in the patch. But from the notes yeah. I was looking at it, I was like, well, see you again, Vlad. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> a yeah. whole two weeks before they nerfed you again. Gives him, right, Scumbag Riot gives him skin, lets people play him for two weeks, and nerfs the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Surprise Party Fiddlesticks basically came out the week before the Jungle remake, and then suddenly Fiddlesticks sucked. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought that skin. I love it. <laughs> I love it, too. I just think, though, that like when he channels his ult, it should be him like turning into a cake, and then he just jumps out of it. Yeah, but then you're just like, why is there this random cake in the middle of the... Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> And let's see, items here. Tristana boots three, which is good because Alistar's not a super strong uh, support. Well, that's interesting. The little uh, thing that they added about when people buy some items. I love it. Items it's, it's awesome. Items just pop everywhere. Basically makes League of Legends look like an online flash game by Zynga. <laughs> just like pops up, I'm, shakes a little bit, and then goes back I'm down. The <laughs> Welcome. So Siobhan is starting with a really safe uh, Cloth 5. I know a lot of Upper River ELO players will start Boots 3. Um, I like the Cloth 5 just because that way. With Shivani you can clear so fast. And then early levels, you can get mad clears. Uh, Pinging Wolves by Purple. Um, Sion and Tristana taking that bush. We might see an invade here. Um, they're trying to get Stinch to go over there, but... Um, they're bringing Riven down. I don't know if she's just going to guard the race or if they're going to get like a full 5 protection. Yeah, they might be expecting an invade. Like, Scion and Alistair. With Scion, Stun, and Alistair. Yeah, exactly. That's all you need for an invade. An invade. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, if my team has a Blitzcrank, I'm like, well, we have a Blitzcrank. We better invade their jungle. <laughs> Pretty much. Or even if, you like, someone... you can't catch someone, you can just grab blue over the wall and get it really safely. If you run blue yeah. team, that is. Or purple team, for that matter, but... Fiddlesticks... Oh yeah, for some reason I keep thinking he's jungle. I'm like, he's starting red. But no, <laughs> he's not. Well, what? Oh. So, I guess you're going to give red to Riven? Looks like it. Oh, Riven. Oh, Riven. They're just going to destroy. I don't know. I don't think they saw him. I don't think they saw him. Sign getting level one shield instead of sign. Oh man, Skarner. And Skarner. They what? What are they doing? He just kind of walked away. Oh. Yeah, there's the exact. That's a. Ooh, good flash. Great flat. Oh, that Tristana wants it. She's so brave. So and brave. And help Fox will make him live. She wanted to. Um, I think what they should have done was Sion. You know, especially if they're going for an invade level one stun, because then you know they see that Skarner, and then he just stares at him, and then he's dead. I think it just came down to the fact that once they got in that bush and saw that no one was there, they thought that either they had been spotted and backed off, or that they were starting in... Uh, Fiddlesticks can occasionally start at double golems here. So I don't yeah. think either team expected to see the team there, and then when they showed up, people were like, oh, what's going on? And then by the time people reacted, Skarner was already trying to run away, and that sort of thing. Yeah. 
Oops, Garner starting with the regrowth pendant, which I like, which means uh, Fiddle v. Scion is going to be rough for Fiddle. Yeah, it's going to be really f rough for Fiddle. Um, yeah, in lane, if Scion plays, once he gets, you know, level 3, level 4, he's going to be terrifying for that Fiddle Sticks. He What's did the Scion start with? He did start he's with only got boots, six. so he doesn't have a whole lot of... Right now, he's got... 7 MP5 and he's already using a lot of his spells so I don't think I don't see him killing Fiddlesticks without a gank and another thing is if Scion shields you know and runs at Fiddlesticks like he's not gonna he's not gonna stun him because Fiddlesticks is just gonna be like well you get feared I stand corrected because he's, get, he's getting a donated blue so he won't have to worry about his mana yeah that's the nice thing about Shivana and Lee Sin and like it, pretty much anyone else you can start red you get, red, you get you know that three and a half four minute blue buff to your mid and that really helps him dominate lane early. Uh, I can't type ma messages for me and you to see. I was gonna say that blue team's blue is about gonna respond about 8:42, maybe. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ribbon taking a lot of damage up top from creeps and poison. Sion <laughs> maxing is there. First. Oh sweet, Carbon Chaos sent me a message <laughs> for what I tried to type in chat. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's uh, maxing Cryptic Gaze first. Interesting. I'm not a Scion player, so right. I can't really comment too much on that. But I know generally it's Shield. Yeah, because the stare. I don't think stare gets better with level, like the duration. I think it's always 1.5 seconds, but um, uh, the shield, the damage, and the like amount of damage you can soak with it just gets like so much better. Why don't you check it on a uh, LOL wiki? Yeah. There's a whole lot of nothing going on. Yeah, really passive play right now. Um, I think if they get to late game, uh, purple team wins. I don't know. Seven, six item Tristana is amazing. Pretty terrifying. But I mean, like I was saying, like if Skarna gets on it, like and then yeah, fiddle six fear, like that's she's most of their damage. I was gonna say that uh, I don't know if it's just the quality of our players. But when I was level 15 or whatever, I can tell you that I, the people I was playing with and who, and my skill level was not anywhere close to this good. Oh yeah, I think a lot of it is like the community, like the pro players have done like a great job of making like good play like available to watch for like the not so good players, mm -hmm. or like the guys who are just starting out. Oh, ribbon, right on Singe, a lot of damage, stunning. But he'll get away. Yeah, it's it's armor, it's cloth armor singe. Like you're not gonna do. And looks like we could see a gank middle. Shivana have red buff. Yes, she does. Riven taking damage, and singe under tower just trawl along. Riven actually and I see going you tried down to that. Yeah. Tower dived a little too early. And Shivana tried to gank mid, and Fatal Six was just like, oh, I'm just gonna fear you and walk away. Yeah. I don't know why, but it seems like, even though he has no ward coverage, every time Shivana like, comes up, it seems to conveniently back off, like he knows she's there. They better not yeah, be ghosting going. with a three minute delay. It's too strong. Sending messages back through the past. Time Machine's OP. Like, reverse back to the future of part three. Fiddlestick spamming his laugh. Fiddlestick. I, I think if purple team, when it gets to team fighting, if they can coordinate their uh, team fights, then mm -hmm. they're going to be real good. Yeah, for sure. Just because Grave, keep, like, it, it's, it's going to be Skarner's going to grab someone, Fiddlestick is going to ult on top of them, Riven's going to pop her ult. And then Graves this whole time is going to be buckshotting people. He's going to be throwing that AOE ult. Um, 
But I mean, they have Alistar, which is super good to initiate because if he sees, you know, Skarner coming at someone, he's just, oh well, I'm, I see you're coming at him, and now you're, you know, in the wall. Riven getting really low. Yeah, Singe is kind of terrifying early game, mid game. Interesting though that Fiddlesticks, although he is behind in farm. Whatnot. He's holding his own in lane. Yeah, he's kind of commanding the uh, the zone, as it were. Oh no, Riven getting really low. And going down. And that's a two kill singed. Someone's going to be. Yeah, I think Dyrus right. should be poking Fiddlesticks a lot more. Yeah. Get his shield up early, and then uh, can't tell if Singe counters Riven. This coming from the guy who sounds like Dyrus. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I get that all the time. Actually, it's weird. I feel like if you have a deep voice in any way, if you're like on a, a microphone, you sound yeah. like Dyrus. If you're in the <laughs> movies, people say you sound like uh, James Earl Jones. And if you're on League of Legends, people say you sound like Dyrus. Doppelganger. See the farm situation bottom. Pretty much even. 41 to 44. Yeah. Really even. Neither have gone back to buy yet, so there's no real advantage either way. Alistair having two of them. <laughs> too chest, too strong. Sin's just getting his catalyst at nine minutes. Yeah, that's a, a nine minute catalyst. But he has, oh, and the boost. Okay, I was going to say, he doesn't have boost now. Scion getting that second blue. So that'll be up at like 1430. Yep. Yeah. Exactly 1429, but, you know, <laughs> not really that important. Ballpark. No wards. This was super competitive all. play. Yeah, no. I think they used them all. Yeah, nobody's gone back yet. Alistar starting with it. Alistar started a ruby crystal though, which I'm super unsure about. And if they play this hard, they can pick up all these last hits at tower. He's not really playing aggressively enough to make up, like, make that extra health worth it. Yeah. And he's gonna have no gold generation. Yeah, for sure. Which, yeah, like, see how much he has right now. Like, yeah, he's got. 700 right now, but he probably has gold oh. points. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what Alistair's base movement speed is, but it doesn't look like he has movement points. Oh, I thought you said gold coins. He could have right. health and points actually. Top, 1420 is pretty high. Top lane, yeah. Two level difference, top lane. Siobhan is not actually in the bush. I wonder if she knows that. Gank bottom. Tristana getting really low. Jumping. Woo! That uh, heal. That'll be that Tristana. Graves ult. Oh my god, actually she might get away. And she will live. Even after that long range Skarner ult. Oh, but they pick up a kill middle while, you know, we were just watching Tristana barely get away bot. I caught the very end of that kill, but yeah. Both <laughs> lanes getting ganked at the same time. Yeah, Scion Maxing, he's got a we he's got a different um skill level here. He's got his uh enrage up to level three. But how come it says he has zero health gain? Skarner spotted by Shivana. But no vision he's not real currently. Thing. Sion went back, so it's not really anything they're gonna do about it. Sinj is just kind of having his way right now with uh, Riven. Yeah, farming himself up to 20 above hers, her CS. And two kills. Mm -hmm. I love when I'm playing against Singe though, and if he's at my tower, like he drops like a poison trail, like just run into it for a little bit, so tower aggro's him. And we might be looking place bot, but he's got it warded, and he'll just run away. Actually, Skarner's coming in. Yeah, Singe getting brave. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he needed to pop Ghost there. His ult's not up. I don't think he's gonna really get done there. How about an ult? He's so not afraid of them that he's even walking up 2v1. Oh, I, w I would in his situation. He's really strong right now. Bot's still not warded. I don't want back to buy. Scion starting off a quick, needlessly large rod. Holy crap! It's a lot of damage. 
singe kiting them, just running around. It's pretty close to leveling up, but not quite close enough that uh, he'll have, be able to kill them. At least not until he gets the mana from his catalyst from a level up. Yeah. Blue pinging dragon. Um, Sounds pushing hard. Skarner's just sitting top, so they can do this dragon real quick, and they're gonna go right now. Singe does have teleport. Their blue buff is down. Oh no, it just popped. They must have had that time. That was really good. Or they just got a really lucky guess. Sion has two pairs of boots. Yeah. Someone messaged me that. Or move speed. Even though they don't stack. Mistakes happen. <laughs> oh, that that ult. There's that Skarner. Little six uh, needed a few there. Again. We'll still probably get him. But Shotzi will and probably go to the And that's done. Yep. Great stun. Oh, if only he would have shielded again. It's a dead Skarner. Quite a few tower dies Sion. going on. Yeah. The only one who's done a good job is Singed. On tower dives anyway. Like, under their tower getting kills. Yeah. He was just uh, hard to he do. was just in range though, so only got a couple shots off. Fiddle six is gonna back now. Uh, bottom farm still pretty even. Um, Tristana should come out just a little bit ahead after this wave. Singe going behind the tower so that his wave pushes right up. Yeah, he's completely. And there's the Skarner, but I don't think I don't think Central care. There's the old turn off the poison trail, bro. Oh, my oh he wants that rip. Oh, that's the summoner heal. He can still get he it. Still might get the kill. Yeah, Here comes a get the W. Yeah. This is why you don't chase Singe. Especially when he has the yep. uh, insanity potion on. Wall 101, don't chase Singe. Shivana's coming top, making this a quick 2v2, and that's that's a tower down, first tower. Smart Singe. So blue team's right blue there. buff will be up. They want this Skarner. They want him bad. Oh, really early dragon. They want it. I, I, oh yeah. man. That's a, that's gonna be a dead Shivana. She's not. You can't get away from the Skarner. Okay, and Sin's just there. you know, it's just gonna not care more. Probably asking uh, Shivana right now, why did you go in on that? Sin's fine. No, he'll get away. Pops his ghost. He's got level. He's got level three movement boots, anyways, or level two. Or is it? Oh, yeah, enhancement of three, that's it. Yeah, um. <clears throat> you know, Carvin was talking to me, he's like, you know, Sin's making me sad, maxing W, uh, second, that's just slow. I think that's actually, like, a really good. Like, I think that, like, that's how I play my Singe, then I used to main him, like, back when I thought Singe was, like, super OP. Um, just because, like, Singe's job is, like, Especially late game, you're not supposed to do damage or like mid game, really. Like he, I mean, like he does do decent damage. Like and now he does that blasting one, he's gonna do like really good damage. But I mean, like his job is to slow people and to catch them so he can play with his team. So like, if you get that W off, it's just super disruptive. Like it's offensive and defensive. Like it's and Tristan is going in without a cow. Ooh, doesn't Graves just so tanky. Rocket clearing uh, the dragon. Getting a zeal before any other item. Tristana having way more damage than he did. Interesting. Yeah. No Doran's on her though, so she's gonna be a little weaker. And if this Alistar ooh. Did it flash up. Alistar could have made some real big plays right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in general I wouldn't recommend rushing a zeal on any AD carry yeah. before any big damage item. Yeah, you see, you see some people now go Wiggles, Phantom Dancer, which like you know I've seen the numbers and oh, Singe is gonna go down top. Yeah, he got majorly caught. For a second, I thought he went yep. AFK because he just stood there while they attacked him. Yeah, I think he's, he's been doing that. It's like not the first time I've seen that. But uh, Riven, 
She really needed that. Really needed that kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sinch still got her by a kill, which was first... One of those was first blood. And, uh, you know, 20 CS, so... It used to be 30 CS, so she's done a pretty good job in catching up on farm. Yeah, he's still like a thousand... Oh, like 800 gold ahead of her. Globally, the gold's like dead even. Yeah, with only a 200 difference, which is nothing. Alistair having three wards, but no ward coverage bottom. Good flash by Scion. I don't know if he's gonna get away though. Pops his shield. At ignite, he's that's dead sign. So four kills to four, about 500 gold lead on the purple team. One tower apiece. Scion buying a Sheen before completing his death cap or his level two boots. Oh, never mind. Oh, there, there we go. Level three. There, oh wow. <laughs> hey, what do you know, dude? Yeah, his level five boots actually. Back to the future of Ghost thing. That's a big wave top for Singed. Oh, but he's mid. Really fed Singed going against a slightly fed Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks has a Wota, so pretty much team. he's not leaving lane. He's not getting blue from his team, though, so he's just like... Dude again. He's it's draining fine. mana, if you will. <laughs> Or blue team of bot. Purple team does know they're there and has a pink ward, so they can clear out the dragon ward. Their, pur their purple ward's basically done though. So if they or their pink ward, so if they want to get there and clear that ward, they got to do it now. Right, it's gonna go yeah, out. It's gonna be. They know they're doing dragon right now, but here comes the. I expect the first fiddle of the game to come right now. Yeah, and their ward coverage yeah. is going out right now. Fiddle ult! There it is! There Alistar, he get in on that. And that is some sick damage. Great fiddle ult. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. They get dragon too? I didn't see you got dragon. They got hard to tell. 4 for O. Yeah, I didn't see you got dragon, but with that fiddle damage... I think it was blue team because they're still only like 1800 gold up, so... Blue team must have gotten dragon, or else they would have been so much more behind. Yeah, that's very true. Fiddlestick's so unbelievably scary mid game. Yeah. So I'm assuming that dragon's gonna pop sometime around 26. About that. I feel like 2605. Blue team will lose a middle tower. <coughs> caw, caw, caw. <laughs> Oh and that's a fiddle six without any uh, real damage items. Oh, Skarna, you could have had it. Yeah, man. So I like surprise party fiddle six better. It's just so much more fun. Yeah. Fiddle sticks actually placing uh, more wards than I've it's seen. A good, it's a good ward spot. Oops. You're sorry, not Alistair. It's a rocket. Yeah, I've ever been watching some, watching some pro streams. TSM strat. Leave nothing on tower. <laughs> Get buried. <laughs> Carbon chaos is like TSM strap. Leave no health. Leave tower with no health. Get barren. Legit. We don't need gold. Didn't they do that against CLG this like last weekend? And just get, I like, crushed. been away this entire weekend, so I don't know. Here's another. Oh, here's another. This is like from me playing AP Sound. I've seen a few guides like this. Um, the uh, shield, like his ult is really good if you're AD sound, but AP, there's not a whole lot of purpose for it. So I've actually, when I play him, and I've seen a lot of players do this, you don't, uh, oh, and purple team, that was that Siobhan is there. Um, but I've seen uh, AP Scions not level their ult till level 12. Oh, yeah. And just max their shield and their stare with a point in, um, with a point in the E. And let's see if Singe is tanky enough right now. He's got that rod. Yeah, but here comes... Oh, there's the dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah. What's the Riven got away. Scion got caught way too early in that. So he melt. He got melted, and then once Fiddlestick came in with the caw, caw, caw. Which, by the way, he yeah, spends you... the time to type caw, caw, caw every time he uses that ultimate, if you notice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why, when up. he landed it, half of them got out of his ult and he had to use this flash to get on them again. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it? Probably. 
Probably. Just for the lulls. This game is small, so... Purple team um, stealing the blue right there. Very good. Yep, yeah, so they're still up. Uh, they're only up, you know, 3,000, which isn't bad. I mean, I mean, blue team's only behind that much, so it's not bad. Let's uh, bot farm. Um, Tristan is down a little bit just because, you know, Soraka knew Imba mana regen for their whoever AD carries, so Graves can, you know, just get Q all day. Yeah, they called and, it a uh, nerf, but it was more like a buff. I, I don't... I, it's more of a rework. I think it was a buff. I never had problems with running out of mana at Soraka in lane, and I never used Infuse on myself. So... Like, your cooldowns are low enough that you can't really spam your abilities anyways. Like, you, you can kind of spam Infuse once it gets leveled up a little bit. But, uh... That was an all chat. Yeah, that was, that was definitely uh, an all chat. Fiddlestick's now uh, getting enough AP that he can he can farm, and he's starting to out-farm Scion. Alistar with cooldown reduction boots. I don't think it's bad, but um, I don't think it's good either on a cha on a yeah. on a melee support. You kind of need either Ninja Tabby or Merc Treads because you need to yeah, get all, all up in people's it. faces. I could see it on Soraka or maybe like a Janna. But I mean, Sor I mean, Alistar, his cooldowns are like long anyway. So I mean, like you're not gonna like you're gonna get a lot, but not that much. Um, you just need a Shirelia's and like a Frozen Heart or a Randuin. They're gonna go cap. They're trying to go make a play mid. Frozen big plays five v three. Uh oh. And then they get picked up. By Riven got picked up by that ward. So Shivana's is gonna be like, hi Riven. Wow. Still swinging a miss. One right there. That's a Shivana with a red buff. You're not getting away. Where, where is she going? Oh, she saw, you know, the whole other team get there. Yeah. And Shivana was just like, uh, maybe not. If they can get they're this bottom tower, her. they'll actually come out ahead and then exchange. As long as they can get yep. away afterwards. They're going to. Tristana's got... Oh, what? Oh, yep. Smart play. Alistar might get caught here. But then again, he's Alistar. <laughs> no, doesn't look like it. Skarner took too long to go into the lane. Which is, he's tanky enough that he doesn't need to be afraid of Alistar and Kristana. Especially with her that low. If she was at full health, maybe. And that Aegis, that Aegis is huge. I was hoping he would have ulted her there, so I could see her rocket jump away, then get pulled right back. Mm -hmm. Game's still pretty even. But, uh, yeah, it's, even three, though they're down seven kills, gold. not that bad. For seven kills, it's not bad. And the dragon. I'll start clearing out the pink ward with the one of his own. Yeah. If you look at items, like blue team's still able to make some, do some good damage and make some good things going on. Riven's still like a little bit behind, so if she she can get picked off pretty easily, not having a whole lot of health and not having a giant amount of damage either. Tristana has enough for her. Infinity Edge, and Graves just picked up his, so I think she's gonna. Nope, not gonna be able to do it. She they might the just cause. Sure. Yeah, she'll get the tower. That's a free tower. Oh, oh no. big plays, big plays. Oh, wasted Ooh, flash though. It's good. Why didn't Graves nice just kill her? her? Interesting. Be a man mode. <laughs> yeah, Riven getting caught. So Dragon's up, purple team knows it, or blue team does rather. Uh, purple team does too, because their icon just popped. And Soraka's gonna clear their ward, it's just like a pink ward battle. Oh, and man. it should be, ooh, Scion if you can get a good one off. Oh, probably should have stunned the fiddle. That's a dead Singe, there's a dead Shivana, here comes a dead Scion. Great play there and by Riven. She knew that she got caught and she was being chased. But she managed to kite them and uh, evade them long enough that three of her teammates showed up. Yeah, great plays. Big plays. Riven really singed. I don't know if he's getting greedy, but... Yeah, and that's, a free, that's, that's definitely a free dragon. Yeah, Singe is thinking that he's invulnerable, and in a teamfight situation, he kind of is, because the focus won't be on him. But if he runs in 1v4... He's not really that. I mean, you have to be tanky. pretty honey badger status to do that. You need to at least have a force of nature. <laughs> you need to have both the tankiness and the movement speed that that item gives you to be able to just run in. 
take a bunch of damage, run out, and then just. Yeah, recover. I need in some some more armor besides that. Uh, I think he should have started Ninja Tabby against the Riven in lane with that cloth five that he started with, or you know Merc Treads because you know God knows that this purple team has just shit tons of CC. <laughs> Yeah, basically I wouldn't ever recommend um, Boots of Swiftness, especially on I Singe. used to on Singe because it's funny. It's funny, but people. you have your ult. You're already faster than basically everybody with that on. Do you really need especially to be that much faster? Mm. Great. And they're looking to make oh, big plays back. bot. Do they have that warden? No, they have no wards there. They have... They just... Yeah. How about... The no boots too on Shivana. I don't think it's a bad. Like Shivana's fast enough with her burnout. Um, like Carbon Chaos is me. He's like, what do you think about you know no boots too on Shivana? Well, and I don't think it's bad. Yeah. Like because she's super fast already, especially if he's rocking a mess quince, which I don't know if he is or not. But um, it's fast enough with burnout and um, like I usually don't get boots too until after my phage. I don't know about completing the wits end before getting boots too, but. <laughs> Yeah, I know what uh, you mean. I could... And that Riven split pushing all day. Good job. She should there. keep pushing. She should keep pushing. In my mind, in my opinion. She really should. Like, they know that they're all down here, and when you have something they like can that, see five. you at least try to peel some of the teammates off, because your team can't yeah. win 4v5. That's Skarner right ult. Skarner ult nuking the Singe. There's the Shivana. Sion needs to get in this team fight. Oh, and that fiddle ult over the wall. Hard to tell. Four if, ace for one. If uh, when Fiddlesticks uses his ult, it's not enough to just CC him because technically the damage is coming from around him and not him himself. I even if you silence him, I believe it doesn't actually stop the ult once it started. Oh no! So you, you have, have to do have that to knock him away. Yeah. So a tip to new players who are trying, who are facing. Uh, Fiddlesticks and have that happening to them. It's not enough to just stun him or something while he's already got it down. <laughs> Grace is like, Skarna, tank this, be a man. Yeah, they got a Soraka. They'll probably just push They're right down. smart, they get too hot. No. Playing it safe. They could have taken a tower. Riven could maybe have even gotten tower in and hib. Yeah, I definitely think so. And that. She, like, they could, they were handling that 45 really well. She didn't pick up their blue, but yeah, she definitely could have gotten a tier 3 in an inhib. Honestly, if you get one, like, if you're in the situation that Riven's in, you got one tower already, you're already ahead. Even if they kill you, Singed it was wants worth it. it. So you might as well push the second tower. Because if you can get two towers, even if you die, it's still worth it. Yeah, two towers for a death. I'd take that trade any day. Here comes Skarner. Someone's going to get pulled. Oh. So Soraka ult is up. Uh, blue team's waiting for the rest of their team. Right now, though, like about a 9k gold difference. Yeah. Purple team playing really strong and uh, overcoming that somewhat. Uh, that, that blue team had quite, had quite a good early game, and purple team got together and pulled a, pulled ahead now. Yeah, I just I don't. I don't see him because they're at the point where they can, if they focus right, they pop Scion's shield, so that's no damage. Um, like in situations like these, I think he needs a DFG so he can still do damage even if his shield gets popped. And that way he can just level one, just nuke the crap out of someone. Tristana is starting to become a bit of a player again once she gets her Phantom Dancer, so I wouldn't cut Blue Team out of it just yet. Alistair's already Yeah, if they can, if they can do a good job of playing protected Tristana, then uh, they're going to be pretty terrifying. They just need to make sure that they don't get fiddle ulted on all of them again, or if they do, Alistair knocks him away right away. Or even better, if, he's, if they see him channeling, yeah. they need to see him immediately. Because so far, all of his channels have been not from over the wall. They've all been in a place where they can see him doing it. There was anything. one that was over the wall, but like out of like you know the four he's done, only one of them was. Sion is going to be out of the team fight for a while. Hard initiate. Yeah, speaking of the over the wall. Ooh, swing and a miss on the Riven ult. Just barely out of range. She still could get singed. She plays this right. They're smart, they're barren here. 
They're smart, they baron the group mid win. Actually, Riven will die. At Tristana. Good turn around by terror. Tristana. Knowing when to jump. Graves has still got her by about almost 2,000 gold. Best Trist. Alistair kind of calling GG there. I disagree, Wall. They're smart, they force, Finally. they just sit up there and enforce it. Pretty empty. Oh. I don't know, they don't really even need to force it at this point. They can just go get it somewhat for free. I mean, Skarner's sitting at 3100 health. He's so Yeah, tanky. he's a boss. He's a beast right now. Wow, that fawn. Shirelia's Aegis getting more armor. Like, he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he can sit under towers for days. In respects to Baron, basically anything you can think, like, besides losing a Nexus or a Nexus turret, anything you can think of in the game is not worth uh, over Baron. Sin's just kind of running in and dying there. So, yeah, when, once they got all those teammates down, like, Dragon, forget about it. Getting another tower, forget about it. Even maybe getting an inhib, like depending on your tactical situation, forget about it. Baron is worth more. So you really want to go for Baron. One of my friends is like, uh, Carbon Chaos. He's like, I'm telling you, man, Skarner's gonna get Shirelia's nerfed. Yeah, pretty much. Shirelia's Skarner ultimate, too strong. Or another thing, Skarner's Udyr Bear Stance, or Shirelia's Udyr Bear Stance. Oof. Shirelia is I, a I heard, pretty ridiculous item if you think about it, though. It's super. It gives you wicked mana regen, like cooldown reduction, health, CDR, and that that active. Sick all the active. Yeah, it's it's why it's the go-to item for every support. Scion still doesn't have his death cap. Yeah, I wonder what his gold situation is like. He's sitting at seven thousand overall, only five hundred in the pocket. Yeah, he just rushed a Banshee Veil first. He was getting too focused. I think that was a little bit of a mistake. Probably should have just signaled his team to cover him better instead of trying to build team to miss himself. They don't really have any mm -hmm. burst as it is. And this is... They are blind right now. Purple team does not know this is happening. Yeah, and there's the ward they know. And are they going to be able to get it in time? Nope. Oh my god, that was a great Baron. St that there is no reason Purple Team A should not have should have had they should have had that warded first off and second off like they could have won that team fight easy. For sure. If, if they were to force if they would have just sat there and forced the Baron fight. That's a great Baron Purple sneak Team had right there. great awareness. Yeah, that was number one number one call on whoever made that. <clears throat> Especially because. If Fiddle ulted in right there with Baron already attacking them, he could have easily gotten like a Penta. Bad damage. Because he's got a Void Fiddle Snatch. Fiddlesticks right now looking pretty scary though. <laughs> that Woda, that that Ravidons, that Void Staff. He's sitting at 46 Spell Pen with 20 flat. Crazy. He just disregards that Banshee's Veil now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and I see you had Banshee's Veil, Paul. <laughs> so much for that. And Skarner is ridiculous right now. Just full build Skarner, man mode all the time. Here comes Fiddle Channel, boom. There he goes. Melting down Scion, even with his Banshee Veil, like you said. Melted. Oh, Skarner flashes right on Trist. Good, noise. good jump though. Great jump. See if the cowl can win. Oh, that bounce. Did you tell me you saw that bounce? No. Oh my gosh, Stan was win. sitting at maybe a quarter health. And yeah, that it bounced between Siobhan and Trist and she almost died. Oh wow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just saw that. Trist needs some lifesteal. Yeah, when you're sitting against a team that has like um a Skarner and a Fiddlesticks and a Soraka. You're gonna need some kind of way to uh, heal up during a fight. 
call you up Alistair. Sin still playing hero mode. Be a man. He really needs to finish that fawn and he really needs to uh get some more armor. Mm -hmm. Another thing for like new players, like since he's going force of nature because he has oh that's that is one dead Tristana. Um he got the two regrowth pendants, but you like you don't you don't get the force of nature for the regrowth pendant. You get it for the move speed and you get it for the magic resist. And so like you need to start if you're building that island you item you need to build a the negatron cloak first. Yeah. Sion's probably gonna get caught here. Yeah he's yeah that's, that's, doesn't that's, have an ult yeah. though. Yep. Oh if you would have landed that you needed a flash from that or else he's done. There's a GG from Singe, GG from Shivana. Oh no purple team uh purple team, you know they got a little low early with uh Sin's just kind of having his way with Riven, but uh, you know, like like I said this from the beginning, like uh, Purple Team, if they could sink their, uh, if they could sink their ults, sink their CC, like they would just dominate team fights, which they did. Like they could, you know, even when Riven was top lane, just push AFK farming, um, like they still won 45, no problem. Oh, Skarner getting caught in the turrets, but he's so tanky that he just walks away, <laughs> and then grabs the uh, Alistair. Uh, let's try to get black. We've been getting a pretty late war mods. Yeah. <laughs> that. Not that it matters at this point, I don't think. Yeah. About 14k gold behind. We need some really good plays to do? do something with this. Pretty much, they'll really need, they'll good need an plays. ace, I think. Ace or bust. I don't know. From here, like this game's not totally over. I mean, like I was saying, if they can play protect the Trist, then yeah, the uh, Trist can get enough. Uh, she, oh, she's going double PD. She needs life steal. Yeah, she needs. Something like, um, she needs the last whisper actually is what she needs. Yep. Against, uh, cause she needs to be able to, uh, penetrate that armor. <laughs> but specifically to, to kite Skarner a little bit and to discourage him from just breaking past the line and going right for her, which is what he's gonna they do. They can take this tower if Triss just stays on it. Good job by Tr Oh, and I was about to say good job by focusing the tower, but, uh, yeah, man, Alistar. Well, that's what you get for being a man. And there was the, the surrender. And there's, there's the surrenders. GG's. GG, all. Good play from both teams. Yeah, Singe got a little too greedy. Um, I mean, but, like, it's, it's really easy to do as a Singe player. You get, you know, two early kills. You're like, you know, I am God. You mm -hmm. can't kill me. I laugh in your face. For but, sure. um, no, that was a... Super good play coming back. Um, super good coordination of ults by Purple Team. Um, I, it just feels like um, like Purple Team individually was strong enough to where they had like to uh, where Blue Team had to blow their CC on like individual champs instead of waiting f for that Fiddlesticks to channel. Yeah, and then Fiddlesticks and, took his opportunity when he saw it. Yeah, and he, you know, caught, caught, caught all over them. Yeah. All right, so. Uh yeah, that's the first game. Um, so we're going to get ready to set up the second game here.